What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, I will be showing you how to make my four way perimeter threat build. I know it's late in the year, but it's okay. You can still drop videos during the summer until 2K25 come out. I'm still grinding. I don't know if other people grinding. Y'all might say the game is dead. It's 2K, it's the NBA Finals. But let's get right into the build. But as you can see, in order to make this build, want to put the position at point guard. Y'all know point guard is the most overpowered position almost in this game. If you're gonna make a player, make a PG most of the time, cause you don't want to have no bad PG on the team or a bad center. But a bad PG is really one of the worst things. Make him a PG, make him 6'8", 185, 6'10", on the wingspan. Everything I do is for a reason. I'm telling you. I don't care if other people say speed with ball, don't worry, do it, worry, do it, don't. I really don't care. That's not me. That's not what I do. But for me, for my finishing, you want to copy the finishing the way I did it. I put the driving dunk and the standing dunk at an 84 reason. That's because I did it in order to get standing dunk. The best standing dunk packages are Draymond Green and Ben Simmons. They're very useful. Once I put them on, I haven't really used any other dunk package. Put the ratings at 80 for that. If you want to go high for contact dunks for the driving dunk, that's when you go for it. Now for the shooting, I did put my mid-range at a 90, and I put my three-pointer at a 78. Now that rating is good enough. The three-pointer doesn't have to be high in this game. I don't know why they made it like this. For other years, it was kind of similar. But for some reason, mid-range helps your shooting more in this game. I have no idea why. But you get good jump shot bases once you put your midi at a 90. Now, I know y'all talk about pass accuracy. Look, chill, calm down. I put the pass accuracy at a 89 because you get bronze bell light. People might be like, bell light might not work. I'm not going to lie. If you play fives, threes, twos, whatever, you're going to need bell out. Because it's going to be a time when you get in a tough situation and you're going to have to throw a tough pass. And hopefully that pass does not cost you the game. And you also get Tyrese Halliburton passing style once you put your pass and actually at 89. Now for the ball handle and speed with ball, I put it at 85-77. Y'all can do what y'all want on that with the speed versus ball. If you need it, if you don't need it, me, I'm going to put it on my point guard build. Because when I do try the stuff they say don't work, it doesn't kind of really work out for me and my play style. So that's just me and what my opinion and my take on it. Hey, that's on y'all. It's you and y'all build with y'all money. This is the way I'm making my build. Now look for the defense. I know I love the defense. I had to go 94 on the perimeter. I don't know. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all, it might not work. The badges don't is better. At, I don't care. Hall of Fame is going to go on my build. I don't care. You get Hall of Fame challenger. Hall of Fame 94 feet. And you get gold fast feet on this build. Wait till I tweak it where I show the speed and acceleration. To where you get great defensive badges. When I mean great, I mean great. You're going to have better defense than most point guards on this game. And you can still score the ball and pass the ball without getting a crazy turnover. Because you want to know why? Because you have bailout. I'm telling you. Look, you get gold clamp. Hall of Fame ankle braces, Hall of Fame challenger, gold fast feet, gold pick dodger, Hall of Fame 94 feet, Hall of Fame off ball pass, and Hall of Fame workhorse. Now, if that isn't a lot of good defense on a build, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you need. You need Jesus to help you. I ain't gonna lie. But the build is complete. That is the way I made my build. Now, for the shades of this build, it does come out to Lonzo, LaMelo, his little brother, which he might be better than him, I ain't gonna lie. The title of this build comes out to two-way diming perimeter threat. Now, look, if you like content like this, please don't forget to sub to the channel, share the video. I don't care if it is late in the year, still share the video if you made it this far. If it must be your boy Greg, go crazy, go crazy. Still out here grinding. Never gonna stop. Never will. And I'm out, man. Peace.